Hey dolls and gents, I know this video is going to start off weird, but I'm doing this so you can actually see how long this hair is. You will sit on this hair, okay? You will sit on this hair. Um, I kind of wish it stopped like right here, but it doesn't. So the struggle of this hair is going to be the length, but you know me, I absolutely love, love, love long hair in the front. Is here so you're definitely going to need a tie when you're brushing your teeth and stuff because it just falls right into the water right into the water okay so here I am here I am so another protective hairstyle for you guys now that previous one looks really really close to this one um they didn't have this in blonde again so I did red and this one isn't tangling so far the other one was butterfly locks and there were little loops in each one and it just tangled up. I feel like this is eventually going to tangle. But I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best because I want to at least leave this in for the full month of July. And I got it done on July 3rd. If I can go into the second or third week in August, I've got my money's worth. Now my lady's real good. Um, hair. The hair was $13.99 a pack, and I'm going to show y'all that. And I used um, three packs, or almost three packs. And she charged me $70. And that's not bad for crochet. It is crocheted in. No, it is not pulling my edges. I just haven't had none in a while. That's just it. So I don't need your comment. Okay? So another reason I'm getting these protective hairstyles is so I can concentrate on my edges. I bought different things that I want to use on my edges to see if I can get them to grow. It looks like they are coming in some. Um, I've, like I told y'all before, I've never really, really had any. Um, never really, really had any. So I'm not going to go broke on trying to find stuff for my edges because I, I've just never really had full edges. That's just what it is. I mean, probably as a little girl or something. But in high school, I do remember when I had to take my senior pictures. And this was before wigs and everything. I had to swoop one side. because I And my mom is the same way. One side is worse than the other side. So, I don't know what that is. This is the hair. It is um, May Beauty Modern Soft Lock. It is 28 inches. And the color I got was T3, T530. They had no blonde. They had a T27, which is black and blonde. Just one blonde enough for me. I'd rather go with the red than the um, black and blonde. So, this is what it looks like. And um, it says, okay, so it doesn't come in blonde at all. It comes in 1, 2, 4, T27, T30, T530, T Copper, which I didn't see. I don't know what that is. And then J12730. I don't know what that is, but I would have loved to see that. Because 27 is the blonde I wear. 30 is Arbor. I don't know what the J would have been, but that would have been interesting. That would have been interesting. So, you can do scalp cleansing by mixing shampoo and water in a spray bottle, it says. Spray the moisture directly on the scalp between the parts and the cornrow um, base. Massage entire scalp to remove buildup and rinse thoroughly. So, that is how I would wash it when I have it in. It's to spray some shampoo so I'm not lathering so much shampoo on it, but to spray shampoo in between. I have a dry shampoo that I use when I have protective styles, and I kind of prefer that. Um... Before washing hair, oh, I guess that's my hair. Yeah, it's talking about my hair. I don't need you to tell me how to wash my hair. Before washing hair, brush and remove all tangles. Duh. It says I can wash this with synthetic shampoo and lukewarm water. I can apply conditioner and gently squeeze. Do not rub. Pat and towel dry. Um... I don't normally wash these hairs. Like I said, I do my scalp, but I don't normally wash these. I don't normally put anything on them. I try not to. If it starts to tangle, you may see me put mousse or something, but that's about it. So it's three times the hair. So what it was, is it was three packs like this. There was one, two, three. There were three packs. Um, it was $13.99 a pack. So I used two packs and then two rolls of the third pack so i have one roll left if i wanted to do this style again so three packs did my whole head um she knows i don't like a head full of hair if y'all know me i don't like a head full of hair so i told her to space it out 
you know, don't have me around here like Mufasa. Like, space it out. I want it to drop. I love for my hair to drop. That's just how I am. And so, I'm definitely satisfied. It is not heavy. You would think it is, but no. It is not heavy at all. Only problem is, I am um, trying to sleep. Trying to sleep is not working. Um, I have bought so many of these things. These things, how do y'all sleep when y'all have 38, what is this, 28 inches of hair on y'all head? Because I bought this. This was the XXXL bonnet. This thing don't hold nothing. Like, I don't know the purpose of this unless you all natural and got an afro. Because I can't get these braids up in there. And the more I try to get these braids up in there, it don't stretch. It don't give me no leeway, first of all. I tried to go from the bottom to the top. The more I try to get these braids up in there, I cannot. And I don't know if I need something like what they use for dreads. Um, how I've been sleeping right now is I've been taking a scrunchie, putting it in a scrunchie. So at least it's not flinging all over the bed. You know, you got somebody in the bed with you and they laying on your hair and you go to move and you can't move. So what I've been doing is I've been putting it all in a scrunchie and then I've been putting the stuff on my scalp and stuff that I want. And then I've been taking a scarf and tying this part down. Y'all tell me what y'all doing when y'all got 28, 32 inches of hair. Holler at me because these bonnets, I'm not buying another one of these bonnets. They don't work. Not for that. Not for that. Um, they just don't work. So I don't know how y'all sleeping, but that's how I've been sleeping. If you have a suggestion, I am open to it. Um, edge control. I need to pluck some of my grays, which I'm going to do when I get off of here. I just got my hair done yesterday. When did I get my hair done? Saturday, July 3rd, in case you see this video late. And then Saturday night, as soon as she finished, we had an event at my husband's family member's house. And then Sunday was the 4th of July. We went somewhere for that so i haven't had time to do nothing but um yeah so i went and grabbed the kiss fixer color max hole in dark brown if you don't know about this you sleep you scrape sleep in dark brown and that comes off dark brown so it'll cover it'll what do i want to do this right now This one right here don't hold nothing. This one that say 48 hour hold control, they lying. This don't hold nothing. This is by Play and Stay. It don't hold jack crap. Okay. So this is the Kiss colored one. I got dark brown. And I'm just going to do a little bit because I wanted to pluck my edges. But see, you have to be easy with it. But it's going to color in. And you, I probably can get away with not even plucking my grays today. But I'm still going to pluck them. But it's going to feel, you understand what I'm saying? It's going to fill it in with color. With color. So I love that they came out with this. Okay, do you see the difference? Fill that right in. And then, um, this one was $3.99. And then I bought the Max Hold in Pineapple. Um, pineapple is just, I think, the smell. It doesn't do anything special. It's just the smell. Um, this one does hold pretty good, but if y'all know a, a gel or jam that will hold without, I don't think there's one out there that'll hold without getting white after a while. If it is, y'all need to comment down below because I'm here for it. If there's one, do you see the difference? Fill that in. And what I normally do so it don't look too crazy is what I did. Rub it in with my hand. I don't want it to look too caked up. I don't want it to look too crazy. So see? So that's why I love the um the brown one. And I might as well do the other side. And see, this side is not as bad as that side. It's just always been that way. And I've been treating it. If y'all got some suggestions, I'll try it. But I've been treating it with all kinds of... um hair growth stuff um me and my mom even got these oils she ordered these oils off of amazon and she makes this oil 
that we've been putting on our hair and the rest of my hair is growing the rest of my hair is growing i'm talking about um black castor oil haitian jamaican haitian castor oil um rosemary like she ordered all these oils that's good for the hair off of amazon because you don't need to buy that stuff from somebody they if you they anyway she makes the mixture and we've been using it now i've been mixing it with my wild growth and i've also been mixing it in just any growth hair grease like I told y'all before, like the Dax or any gross growth hair grease that I have, I mix some of the oil in that, stir it up, and I've been putting it on my hair. My regular hair is growing. I feel like my edges are coming in slowly but surely, but I'm kind of to the point where now at my age, and I should be proud of it, but I still ain't going to say my age, <laughs> but I'm over 40. So I've come to the realization that at my age, if it's not growing in, I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to stress myself about it. I don't wear my hair anyways. I barely ever wear my hair. If I was the person that wore my hair, I would stress about it. But I don't wear my hair. So there's really no need for me to be in panic mode about it. But I still take care of my hair. I still wash, condition, perm, whatever, whatever. I still take care of my hair but I just don't stress about it I have been buying growth products for years regarding my edges years and they don't work they just do not work um so that's what that is but anyways this is the hairstyle I absolutely love it like I said if y'all could tell me how y'all sleep let me know I need to know how y'all sleep that's what I need to know all right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Any questions you have about the hair or hair? Oh, I forgot to say the hair was $13.99 a pack. I bought three packs, but they had a 20% off coupon that I received for the, for the 4th of July. And so I spent $42, $41 and some change on the hair and then $70 on the style. Not bad if I can get a month to a month and a half out of it. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let me know what y'all think. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, just wanted to come back to you real quick. It has, it, it's been, I got my hair done July 3rd. It is August 9th. So it's been a month. I'm getting ready to take it out. Um, it did a lot better than the butterfly locks, but as you can see, like right there, um, see, there is some tangling i think it's like i don't know what it is but whenever you deal with this like dread type hair you are going to get you see the string there you are going to get some tangling um but it did pretty good it did a lot better i would buy this over the other one that i bought the the other one that tangled i would buy this over the other one the butterfly locks um this I could at least break apart really quickly like that with my hands and this I could wear down more often with no problems um so I'm getting ready to take this out tomorrow and I just wanted to give y'all a little update that um I love the hair I would purchase this hair again I would purchase it a little bit shorter only because of everything we're going through in the world today I find myself struggling a lot of times in public bathrooms with this hair you lean down to pull up your pants and your hair may touch the toilet um your hair may touch the floor that's how long it is so i find myself struggling with this hair a lot um at work if you have to go to the bathroom i find myself having to even if you have it in a ponytail or something it's so long that i have to tie it up or hold it or do something so i can use any bathroom that is not mine that is the major problem i found with this hair um, you have to be careful if you're trying to be sanitary these days with everything that is going on. Um, because this hair, as soon as you lean down and stuff, is so long. It, it, it's just long. Just take my word for it. It is long. Um, so I would choose this hair again. Um, I like the color. I'm still a blondie. And see how it's like, can y'all see how it's like real frizzy at the top? It's just time to, I tried to gel it. I tried to mousse it. It's lasted me a little bit over a month, which is cool. Um, so I would choose this hair again. I like the hair. I think it was a good price. I think it lasted pretty good. If it wasn't so frizzy, I would try to go a little bit longer, but it's just too frizzy for me. And that kind of gets on my nerves. So you can get at least a month and a couple of weeks out of this hair, which is good for the price and probably good for whatever the person is going to charge you to put it in. If you do crochet yourself, definitely you're saving money. So any questions y'all have about this hair, just hit me up down below.